Hello everyone, I am Nick Aguilera and you guys are listening to my brand new show, The Matchup. In this show, we we put two players against each other, any sport. Tonight it is baseball and we are going with the current Major League Rookie of the Year against the first ever Major League Rookie of the Year, which is Bryce Harper versus Jackie Robinson tonight. Well, we're going to look at it at a st- statistical viewpoint today and we'll see if Robinson can still hang with today's pitching and with today's players so let's get started right now right now Jackie Robinson was the 1947 rookie of the year that's the first year that they ever gave out that award and today that award is named after him the Jackie Robinson award is awarded to the best rookie in each league and Bryce Harper last year winning it 2012 rookie of the year for the Washington Nationals he was only 19 years old which is pretty impressive and and right now and right now we're going to get started with Bryce Harper's stats to to get us started so last year Bryce Harper he hit 270 that was his batting average and in he had 597 plate appearances, three shy of 600, and he only played in 139 games, getting called up a little bit later that year. Now let's look at Robinson's first three stats: batting average 297. That's larger significantly than Harper. That's about a 17 point difference. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That is a 27-point difference. My math is off. He had 701 plate appearances. That is 104 more than Bryce Harper, and he played in 151 games. That is a cup. That is about 12 more than Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. He hit with. He had a 340 on base percentage, and Robinson had a 383 on base percentage. 43. Per- 43 points better than Bryce Harper. Now, their wars, their win over replacement players, this is one of the most important stats in sabermetrics. Bryce Harper's war was 5.2. That is large considering that he was only 19 years old at the time. And Jackie Robinson's was only 3.1. Now, most people would expect that number to be larger, but it was not. It was on Bryce Harper had the bigger war with 2.1 wins over a re- replacement better than Jackie Robinson. And Bryce Harper playing for the Washington Nationals had 22 home runs that season and Robinson when his first year with the Brooklyn Dodgers had 12 home runs, Bryce Harper hitting 10 more and that was pretty impressive by Bryce Harper and RBIs let's look at RBIs for both players runs batted in 59 for Bryce Harper and for Jackie Robinson 48 that is 11 RBIs less now you expect them to have more RBIs but they just don't and considering that Robinson was a little bit old, older. That could have been a reason. But then again, Harper was young, 19 years old. You would expect him. He's not in his prime yet. And stolen bases. Let's look at stolen bases now. 29 stolen bases for Jackie Robinson. That, that That's pretty good for a rookie at that time. 18 for Bryce Harper. He is a speedy player. But he he's not as great as stealing bases. And slugging percentage for both players. 0.477 for Bryce Harper and 427 for Jackie Robinson. Harper having more having a greater slugging percentage than Jackie Robinson. And we're gonna take a quick break, guys. So, if you're still listening, keep it here. We'll, when we come back, we will see who is the better player, Harper or Robinson. We still have some more stats, so don't go away, guys. 
This is the matchup with Nick Aguilera. And we are back, guys. Now let's look at some more some more stats for both these players, both incredible players in their rookie year. Hits for both players. Jackie Robinson had 175 hits, only 25 shy of 200. And Bryce Harper, 144. Jackie Robinson have, having the most hits. And in doubles, Bryce Harper hit 26, while Jackie Robinson hit 31, which is impressive for a rookie. And triples, Bryce Harper having nine triples last year. And Jackie Robinson having five triples in his rookie year. Total bases for them. Total bases for Bryce Harper, 254. And Jackie Robinson, 252. Only two shy of Bryce Harper. And on base plus slugging. Now, Bryce Harper had a .817. And Jackie Robinson having 810, which is very close. Now, these players were both great players in their rookie year and Jackie Robinson a great player throughout his whole career and not to mention and to mention he was the first african-american baseball player in the MLB now let's look at some more stats we have we have I'm sorry we don't have any more stats I'm sorry about that and okay so it looks like Jackie Robinson could still hang with the players today, but with the pitching that they have now, I, I don't know. He he was in one of those he was in he wasn't in the era of a hundred and ten mile per hour fastballs with a rolled as Chapman. He 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 hit well, but I don't know if he would hang with today's pitchers. But it's vice versa for Harper. I think that he would do better back in Jackie Robinson time, Jackie Robinson's time, than he would now. And Jackie Robinson came in fifth in MVP voting that year, while Harper came in in thirtieth, I believe, for MVP voting this year. And Jackie Robinson. He was a great player. I know I never got to see him play, but footage shows that he was a great player. And and I'm sorry about that, guys. We're having some technical difficulties. Sorry about that. We're going to take a quick break while we fix these technical difficulties. So stick around and we'll be right back. And we are back, guys. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties right now. And so we're going to end this episode short today as we are having a lot of technical difficulties. I will, I will see you next week and listen in to this show every week on, Saturday, on Saturdays, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, that's it for me, guys. Our technical difficulties cut this show short. And in my opinion, I think that the best rookie would be Jackie Robinson. Being what he went through, all the race, all the racial stuff, and being the first African-American player must have been tough on him. So, I'll see you next week, guys. Remember, Saturdays at 5 p.m. I'm sorry about ending this show early. We had a lot of technical, we have a lot of technical difficulties that I have to fix. So, Next week, I'll see you guys 5 p.m. as the show will be cut short. Short. So 5 p.m. on Saturday next week. Bye, guys. I'm Nick Aguilera for National Sports signing off.